Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. So this is the November update which means we're kind of almost ready to transition to Christmas. Not quite there yet but I did finish off a ton of candles last month that I'm going to replace with new candles this month and then I think December will kick off like the actual winter burning so we're not quite into quite into winter candles yet but we're getting there so yeah i have a lot of candles to share with you guys so let's go ahead and get started and yes i still have not decorated for christmas this is our first year in this apartment my first year in my own place that i am celebrating christmas and decorating so i've got to pick up a lot of stuff i've been hauling and stuff i just haven't had time to decorate so we will decorate don't worry and i will record it but not just yet Okay, let's get into the candles. So I did finish off four in the last month. The first one is Champagne, Apple, and Honey. This one I had started um, unused two months ago, and then here was last month, and then I finished it off. Um, it burned really well, really great scent, but like I said, it did have like a plasticky scent to it, so it wasn't my favorite, but I really enjoyed it for the time that I burned it, and I really liked having that bubbly apple note going in September and October. Another one I finished off that I wasn't a big fan of is Banana Walnut Muffin. I know everybody loves this one, but to me it was just too cloying and like way too like sickeningly spicy. I don't know. So I tried to use it up after a quite a bit. I think actually this is from last year's fall project and this is from this year's fall project. So it did burn really well though. Look, absolutely zero sooting, except maybe at the end. Um, yeah, it was a great performing candle. I just really didn't like the scent. And then one that I finished off with the classic pumpkin pecan waffles. I will continue to repurchase this year after year. I love it. I think I got this on clearance for like four or five dollars um, at one of the SAS's and it performed amazing. This, this one's a classic. And the last empty that I have is hot cider donut from Homeworks. I will definitely be repurchasing this. It was absolutely stunning. Here is the progress lines. So I was like obsessed with this last month. It is such a yummy scent. It really does smell like a hot cider donut and then you like rolled it in cinnamon sugar. It smelled so good and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that is hot cider donut from Homeworks. So let's get into the ones that I have some progress on. Um, the first one that I have the most progress on is Harvest Bake Shop from Homeworks. I've been enjoying this one, especially in the mornings. I kind of like to have something like uh, warm and gourmand in the mornings because I don't own another coffee candle or else I would have coffee going. So warm and gourmand in the mornings and then I lean more towards like, I don't even know what to call it, aromatic other scents during the rest of the day. Um, so. I've been really enjoying this one and I'm pretty much almost done. So the progress, it started fully unused and then I maybe burned it once in September and then October I got through a lot of it. So I probably have like one or two more burns on this one. It's it's pretty much almost done. Um, performing really amazing for me, smells great. Just smells like a really nice um, warm and spicy fall scent. Um, it does have sugar, molasses, crushed gingerbread, creamy pumpkin, and whipped buttercream in the notes. That's really what it smells like to me. It smells really good. I'll just keep going on the homeworks train while we're here. Um, I also have farm stand pumpkin that I've been using a lot lately. Um, I have this on my little coffee table right next to the couch, and I've been going at this one pretty solid. So it, I put it in the project last month. Um, unused and then now we're down to here so I definitely got a lot of progress on it I probably will finish it up in November it was a really great scent for October it is like a classic pumpkin scent really really I've been enjoying this a lot the notes are pumpkin puree nutmeg cinnamon stick and sugar tonka bean it smells just like that so I really like this one I have also been trying to use up spooky cider lane in the single wick I kind of forgot about this one because it's really used as a decoration piece on top of this skull um, pedestal right here but I have gotten right here on the packaging, as you can see, and it was unused last month. So I did burn it quite a lot, like at the beginning of October when I remembered that I had it, but I actually just kind of like forgot that it existed. So I think I'm gonna actually move this upstairs to my bedroom because I've actually really been enjoying burning single wicks in my bedroom, like just like throughout the day um, and just having that ambiance going. So I think I'm gonna move it up to the bedroom and try to keep, keep finishing it there but it does smell really, really good. I definitely get more apples and vanilla than anything else, and it smells really nice. So 
So I'll keep working on that one. Another single wick I've been working on is Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. So I think I can alternate those two in the bedroom, but I did make some progress on this one. And I think I will continue to burn it because I've been really enjoying, like I said, single wicks in the bedroom. I used to really not light them up at all, but I think just with the cozy weather, I've been like wanting to light more candles, which is great. So yeah, that's those two that I'm still trying to work on. Um, one that I don't have any progress on, sadly, is hot cocoa and cream. I just didn't feel like pulling it out. Um, I really haven't had those nights that I typically do during the fall um, where I like sit in front of the TV and have like a movie marathon or ha watch a movie with hot cocoa. I just haven't had those nights. Ryan and I have been so busy in October that we just haven't done anything like that. So hopefully in November we will get to do that because we don't really have a lot of plans for November. So that's good. Um, but it's just hot cocoa and cream. You guys know this one. But I did put it in because last year I liked it in all October, but this year I haven't burned it at all. I haven't touched it. So hopefully we'll have those cozy nights and I'll want to light this one up. But yeah, it's still in the project, still completely unused. Okay, for some other candles that I'm putting in the project that I've actually already been using um, and I'm already focusing on, the first one is Harvest Gathering. I don't know if I actually put this in the project last month. I don't think I did. I rewatched the video and I didn't mention it, but I've been using this like crazy the past couple of weeks. Ever since I ran out of hot cider donut, I've been using this one. So Harvest Gathering is fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. This is definitely like a harvest end of fall scent for me. It is so immensely like spice and clove and apple that it is like perfect for November. Like this feels like November to me, Harvest Gathering. It is such a yummy scent and I'm already halfway on it. I've, I've already burned it halfway. Look how beautiful this wax is and like zero soot. That's amazing. So it's been awesome. I've been burning this like during work or during nighttime and it's so cozy and I love this scent. So I'm definitely gonna finish this one because I've just been, I've been living it up with Harvest Gather Gathering. Like I am loving it. So that's going into the project even though I've already been working on it. Another one that I've already been working on is Deep Dish Apple Pie from Homeworks. Um, I just got the hankering to pull this one out and I've been burning it a lot just every now and then whenever I feel like it. So I am already down to here. You can kind of see with the sun shining in, but it is getting a little bit of a wax. Oh, there it is. Um, build up on the sides. I feel like it's just going to go away after a few burns though, but it was tunneling at first. But this candle is so yummy. The notes are gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust the perfect November scent. This like makes me think of Thanksgiving. It smells so good and it performs really well. Um, I've had it going in my kitchen downstairs in my open concept and it's really doing well down here. So that's warm apple or sorry, deep dish apple pie. And I definitely think I'll finish this off in November because I've been just craving apple pie every now and then and I pull this one out. So, and then two more that I'm introducing for like the last month of fall to try and get through them, but I don't know if I will. The first one is White Pumpkin. So this one I really, really loved last year. It was such an amazing scent. So I picked it up again, I think actually at the Summer SAS because it was like $6 or something, something super cheap. The notes are Ginger White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Warm Blended Spices. Again, another great Harvest November scent. It is so spicy. I don't know how else to describe a White Pumpkin scent. But if you've ever smelled white pumpkin, you know what I'm talking about. It's like spicy, like warm spice, like an autumn chill in the air. That's what it smells like. I don't know. So if I do get through Harvest Gathering, then I will replace it with white pumpkin as like another staple for November. Um, but I don't know if I'll finish it. So this one has been burned once because we lost power one time and I had to burn this one. Um, but it is pretty much at the very top. So we'll see how much I can get through of this one and we'll see if I end up wanting to keep it in in December. I don't know yet. So that one I will try to uh, start using. And then the last one that I'm putting in is Marshmallow Fireside. This is definitely a fall and winter candle to me. Um, not exclusively fall, but I did get it in the fall packaging because it was on sale for like $12, I think, when they were doing the, the fall sale. Um, and they've already repackaged it for Christmas. So Marshmallow Fireside is Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, Fire Roasted Vanilla, and Crystallized Amber. And this one is completely unburned, but Marshmallow Fireside is such a beautiful scent and it really um, 
is a classic. I've had it many years before and really enjoyed it. So this is definitely one that I feel like I might start craving, um, but I can definitely see myself still using this into like January, February as well. So I don't have to finish it up right now, but if I wanna start using it, I wanted to put it in the project. Okay, so that is everything for this um, project wax update. So a lot of like going into harvest season kind of scents and um, I'm still picking and choosing what I wanna put in for December. So hopefully I can finish off um, a lot more so that I can make some room to put in new candles for December. And yeah, so that's everything for the update. Let me know down below if you've already started on your winter candles. I'm very curious to know. I'm kind of restricting myself from starting on winter until I finish some more fall scents. I'm hoping to finish up four again this month, just like last month. Um, and then I can start bringing in the Christmas scents. But yeah, that is everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.